Hey basketball players, the role of a shooting guard in the NBA as well as any elite player is complicated because they can do so many things that you really need to really pick your specialty if you want to become an elite player. As we can see here from Ginobili, one of his specialties was defense. And to be a great defender, what you really want to do is to be able to dissect the offensive player before your game and to pick ways on how to beat them at the perimeter game as well as when they drive towards the rim. So what we can see here is James Harden is driving towards the rim and he goes up for a shot. Well, Manu Ginobili is a very good defender. He knows what James Harden is about to do. And that is something that you really need to do as a player. And you as a player, as a defender, you need to understand, hey, when this player does certain things, like when he brings his left hand in, that means that there's an 80 or 90% chance that he's going to be going up for a shot. And because of that, James Harden does go up for a shot. Manu Ginobili already knows he's going up to block that shot. Now, a lot of coaches, referees, and whoever say that he may be out of position because he is coming from behind to block this shot. But something that you may not know is as long as you don't touch his body, there's no foul. Which means that when he goes up to block this shot, it's an absolutely clean block. And of course, his teammates are extremely happy with that. Now, even though you're a shooting guard, you're not always shooting the ball. You need to be able to drive towards the rim and finish strong. Finishing strong is going to be able to allow you to score more points and be able to get more fouls on your opponent. So what happens here? Well, he is... Oladipo is driving right on his defender. From there, when he goes up for the dunk, he understands that there are two help defenders who could potentially block his shot. And anytime you're driving towards the rim, what you really want to do is to go up with two hands, because especially if you could dunk, but if you can't dunk, going up with two hands is going to be strong. You've got two sets of contact points on that ball and because of that it's going to be extremely hard to block and especially if you can dunk you can move that ball out of the way as we can see here he cocks the ball back down and around that help defender so that he could finish with that dunk if it wasn't for him driving going off of two feet Remember, anytime you're going off of two feet or even one foot and you're about to jump, keep those heels off the ground. That's going to allow you to be able to jump higher and faster. Two hands on the ball so that he can get moving around that defender and of course slam the ball down on top of that help center. Now if you can't dunk or if you're not able to dunk in a certain play, you need to be able to still take it strong. And taking it strong here means getting your shoulder into the defender so that you can create space so that you can make that basket. We can see that here when he, this player goes and drives on his defender, he's able to protect that ball, keeping that ball on the opposite side of his body with two hands on the ball. Why is the two hands important in this case? Well, there's a help side defender who is trying to reach in. And by keeping the hand, two hands on that ball, he's able to get it around Blake Griffin, but also getting that shoulder into his defender so that now he can create that space to be able to get around that player and go in for that baby style hook. Now, if you're a freak of nature, that's totally fine. Zach Levine here is an absolutely amazing dunker and he can dunk on pretty much anybody. Now, as we see in the name itself, shooting guard, you need to be able to shoot the ball and you need to be able to shoot it at a high level. And that is going to allow you to become a great shooting guard because, well, what is the use of a shooting guard? Well, of course, they need to be able to take that ball strong towards the rim, but by being able to shoot that ball, you are keeping the defenders honest. And what I mean by that is, if you're a great shooter, you're going to be stretching out the defense. Because if you're not a great shooter, if you're like a 10% shooter out here, but you're an 80% shooter in here, they're going to start slacking off and playing defense way over here. And because of that, you are going to be left open a lot to shoot that ball because they know you're going to miss. They know you're going to want to drive towards the basket. So by being able to shoot at a high level, they're going to be guarding you much closer to the perimeter, which allows you to now drive on them to create more scoring opportunities. Every single defense does not want you inside that key. 
That is when teams start double teaming you. And that's why they want to either force you to shoot from the perimeter or keep you out on the perimeter. And because of that, if you can then show them that it's actually riskier for you to shoot that shot, they're going to play you tighter, and that's when you're going to be able to drive on that net. Being able to cross up your defender, use hesitation style moves as well, can help you create a lot of space between yourself and your defender so that you can get up those shots with only a few seconds left on that clock. So in short, the number one thing a shooting guard needs to be able to do is to be able to shoot the ball. It's right in the name. Number two is to be a backup point guard, being able to use your dribbling moves to create space between yourself and your defender and to back up your point guard. Next is going to be able to slash and drive towards the rim so that now you can create opportunities for yourself but also for other teammates by when you're driving you can collapse a defense and kick that ball out. These are major roles and skills that you're going to need as a, as a shooting guard. I hope that this video has helped you become better. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.